In this video, you'll learn how to add columns whose values are not stored in the data source and are calculated using a predefined expression or specified via an event handler. You'll also see how you can provide a separate storage for values displayed in these unbound columns. The data for the unbound columns will be calculated based on the values of the quantity, unit price, and discount columns. Let's show how to create unbound columns at design time. Select the grid control and then click its smart tag. Click Add Column twice to create two new columns. Resize the columns to make them wider. Next, click the first created column and set its field name to a unique string, Discount Amount. Then set the column's Unbound Type property to any value other than Bound. The column will display decimal values in this case. Use the unbound expression property to specify an expression used to calculate the column values. Click the ellipsis button to open the expression editor, which allows you to create formulas using various functions, operators, data field values, and constants. We'll create a simple expression that multiplies three existing fields. To make this unbound column read only, set the options column.allow edit property to false. Now let's format the values of the two columns as currency. Hold down the Control or Shift key and click another column. This selects two columns simultaneously. In the Properties grid, expand Display Format and set the Format Type to Numeric and the Format String to C2. Now let's run the application. The first column displays the calculated data and formats it as currency. It is possible to allow an end user to modify expressions for unbound columns at runtime. To do this, set the column Show Unbound Expression menu property to True. The Columns Context menu now provides the Expression Editor command. When it's invoked, the Expression Editor dialog opens allowing you to modify the expression. For the second column, whose data will be provided later using an event, we also need to specify a unique field name and set its unbound type property to decimal. Now let's supply values for the second unbound column by handling a dedicated event. Select Grid View 1 and switch to the Events page in the Properties grid. Next, subscribe to the Custom Unbound Column Data Event. The Custom Unbound Column Data Event fires each time a column value is about to be displayed on screen and also after a column cell is modified and data posting is required. Values for the total column will be calculated from quantity, unit price, and discount column values. First, we need to retrieve these values using methods of the bound data source. The grid control provides a helper get list source row cell value method to do this. Second, we calculate a value for the unbound column and assign it to the value event parameter. Now, let's run the application again. The total column displays data provided by the event handler. This column is not read only, so you are able to modify cells, although the changes are not saved. The data grid does not store or cache values of unbound columns. It's up to you to implement data posting. To illustrate the data posting feature, let's modify our code. In this code, values for the total column are stored in a dictionary. When an end user modifies a cell, the custom unbound column data event fires and its isSetData parameter equals to true. The new value is saved in the dictionary for later use. Now let's run the application again. Try modifying values to see that the changes are now saved. And that's it. Thanks for watching, and thank you for choosing DevExpress.